Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the channel. We are in the $10 million, $1 million to first tournament. Yes, yet again, we are back here, back at it. We have a minute and 30 seconds left, all right? Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank I appreciate you guys with the love with the do not draft uh, videos between rounds one through ten. We're going to be bringing you uh, the do draft. That's what I'm going to call it. We're going to take out the not. We're going to play guys you do draft in rounds one through five and in rounds six through ten. Okay, that um, that series is going to be coming out very soon. Uh, but hey, it is best ball season. All right. This is our best ball video. We usually do one a week at least, minimum. All right? And that's what we're going to do for today. Um, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Don't forget about the Instagram and Twitter at MensNetsJetsD. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. We're going to get in the plugs all right now. As this goes along, please make sure you like. Make sure you comment and you subscribe, okay? Anything that goes on in this draft, let me know in that comment section down below. And if you are viewing this video, you might as well hit that like button as well. So right now, NFL is just insane. It's insane. Let me let me adjust this before we get started. We got 10 seconds and we got pick number five. So let me show you the draft board really quick. I adjusted the, the camera just a tad. We're starting up right now. As I'm looking at the guys in my draft, maybe Teddy Ross is somebody, maybe Redneck Mother. Everyone else, I do not know. It may be Benny96. Maybe Crowder is Jameson Crowder. It could be. You never know. But with all the insanity with the running backs in the NFL right now, man, it's going to be, you're going to have to just make a statement on the guys that you really, really do want because uh, some 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 of these guys might be falling. Jonathan Taylor, Josh Jacobs. It's a lot of chaos going on right now. You got to read the tea leaves. Be patient. Be one with the water, okay? Right now, what are we? Two picks away. Two picks away coming up on our draft pick. And the Cooper Cup just went. We're looking at Kelsey Hill, Eckler, Diggs, AJ Brown, Bijan, CD Lamb. All right, we'll see how I go here. If I'm not getting Jefferson, Jamar, or Cup, ah, there you go. Then you would go Bijan. Now I'm in a situation where I do not really, really like. And I scroll down. Barkley. We got Diggs, Eckler, Tyreek. And I haven't went Tyreek yet. We're going to go Tyreek. So we'll go Tyreek in this situation. If they give it to me, I, I've, I've been hit the button. I've been hit the button. So we're going Tyreek Hill in the first round. Has that upside to be the number one overall guy in fantasy yet again. I just don't. This is way, like weird. Once the, those first few guys go, it's like. I want to reach. I don't want to be forced in the situation. It's like, okay, he's here. All right, if I'm not comfortable with a person, I will go to someone I'm comfortable with. Diggs, maybe it's because I'm a Jets fan. I'm like, whatever. But hey, AJ Brown always has that uh, memory in the back of my mind of being injured when the last time I took him. But he's obviously he's in a great situation. CD Lamb, he should be fine, but I do not like Schottenheimer and the downgrade of tempo for that team. So it was like it's like little little blemishes here. But Tyreek Hill, hey, explosive player. He's gonna be the number one no matter if Ta Tua Tungavailoa is hurt or healthy. He's solidified um at that spot. All right. So we're coming back around. Maybe I was hoping for Barkley to be my second guy, but no, that's not gonna happen. Chubb, Brown, Barkley, Derrick Henry. All right. He went super stout at the running back position right there. Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry, homeboy is ready. All right. Peanut Shells is not playing. 
Uh, hopefully, Derrick, Derrick Henry has a consistent, healthy season this year, right? Especially coming off all those carries he had last year. Uh, let's see, Garrett Wilson. Oh, Garrett Wilson doesn't fall to me. Let's go back to the players. All right, we're up now. We have Waddle, Hurts, Mahomes. I'm not getting the quarterback now, so I could go for a stack. And then Calvin Ridley's at the bottom. So uh, I'll just take Calvin Ridley here. If they're going to give us him. All right. So I could have went to stack, debating. I went with Calvin Ridley. I like Calvin Ridley this year. Chris Olave was there. But we went either way. I could have went super Miami. That could have been dope. That could have been dope. I don't really have to rely on two. Really need two. But that's okay. We went with Calvin Ridley. All right, coming up, let's look back at this draft board. Now, the quarterbacks are coming off the board right now. Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes. And we're at that front turn. Who is going to fall to me in the next six picks? Well, I have a conundrum with Jonathan Taylor, most likely. Most likely he's going to be there and I have to make a decision. All right? I usually don't go this many wide receivers early. I used to get at least a running back in here. We'll see what falls to me. DK Metcalf uh, comes next. We got Chris Olave finally goes. He has Jamar Chase, Devonta Smith, Chris Olave. That's a nice trio right there. JT, he is not scared. He goes to number three man right there. We're coming around the bend. We have T. Higgins, Mark Andrews, Keenan Allen, Lamar Jackson. All right. So. The Lamar Andrews thing probably won't happen. I would have to make a decision here. Stevenson has a Q tag, but he's 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 gonna try. Don't don't look at that. Um, I have a lot of gifts. I really don't have a lot of gifts. At all. But I do want an upside. All right, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a shot here. We we'll go Mark Andrews. We're gonna go. We're gonna go number one tight end this year, Mark Andrews. That's that's my proclamation. So we have two wide receivers, and I'm gonna try to figure this out. I'm gonna try to be as ex explosive as possible in this scenario. Super explosive with Tyreek Hill. Love Calvin really in a comeback year. I could have decided between Lamar, but hey, I do have an uh, an idea if it comes back to me in round four. Uh, with high upside at the QB position. So that I went with, you know what? Let me lock down the tight end spot in Mark Andrews in this time monkey offense. So I had to bite the bullet. It wasn't going to happen for me to get both of these guys. That usually happens either if one of those two falls um, or you're in the corners. If you're at one of the ends at 1 or 12, you can scoop both of them as it goes around, right? But that wasn't most likely going to happen. So I want to be as explosive as a po as possible. Um, we'll see what I can do creatively at that running back position, but we're going to see. We're going to see. Keenan Allen off the board. Josh Jacobs off the board. Um, I will have 0% Josh Jacobs this year. I'm letting you know right, that, right now. I will have 0% Josh Jacobs right now. Let me know. Go in that comment section down below and ask me why I'm going to have 0% Josh Jacobs this year. Saying that right off the bat. Every time I see him, skip, skip. And that's what happens. You go and you do your research, your analysis, and you go into these drafts and you just go with, you You just X out a few guys. Just guys is like, you know what? I, I, I can't draft. I will never draft you. I will never draft you. I don't like your situation. I don't like the the contract situation. I don't like you coming off 300 plus carries last year. All these all these factors the factors in. Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, we are at that 
312-41 corner. D-Hop. A.J. Brown, Jerry Judy, D-Hop. I know he's like, oh, my God. He's like creaming in his pants right now for that that combination at the wide receiver. It's sexy. It's pretty sexy. It's not bad. Joe Mixon off the board. As boring as he is, he's going to be the only guy there. All right. We're coming around to our pick. So let's get uh, let's look at these players. Etienne Brees. Uh, we might go Brees. Burrow is still there. Fields is still there. DJ Moore is coming up. So we got we got a lot of options. Here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. If it falls to me, I'm gonna go Brees to have like really big big explosion. Big explosion. Boom boom boom. Every single position. I want to win that one million dollars. Can he fall to me? It was a good sign that Dalvin Cook came to the Jets facility and left. So we have big opportunity here. But hey, and there's a lot of conversation going on as Dalvin Cook was there. They were telling him, hey, you're only here to support Brees Hall. You're not here to be the number one. You're here to support the number one right here. And that's Brees Mo. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I think that's like my only Brees Hall share right now. We're going to turn that around too. I'm going to definitely turn that around. So, my water ball keeps falling. What about? So, we're coming to rack around. I think this. I think it looks crazy. It looks absolutely. I want to wait on QB, even though I have an idea. If I get this, if he comes back around, it's just too good to be true. And I'll just like take the L on the wide receiver I want at number five. If the quarterback comes around that I want, then it's going to happen. And I'll feel like I have someone every single spot. And I still can have someone every single spot. But this happens. I don't know. I doubt it. I mean, I'm concerned about what Joey chooses. I'm just, I'm really just concerned about Joey. What he chooses in his 411 and 52. From there, I should be set. He goes fields. Okay. I think he's going to come back to me. If he comes back to me, I'm just going to take him. I'm just going to take him. I have Tyreek Hill. I have Calvin Ridley. I have Mark Andrews. And I have a running back, a number one running back. I have number ones everywhere. We're at the corner. Terry McLaurin. Good pick. Justin Jefferson, Metcalf, Terry McLaurin. Josh Allen. Okay. George Kittle? He didn't watch my video. Spulkowski didn't watch my video. Oh, he goes Fields DJ. More combination. What a stack. What a stack from Joey. Didn't expect that. Actually, I should have expected that. All right, let's, we're coming back. We're coming back. Can my guy fall to me? He is here. He should fall to me because the other guys have quarterbacks. These guys are probably not going to go quarterback, quarterback this early in a best ball draft. They're probably going to wait till a little bit later. Aaron Jones off the ball. We're one selection away. We're starting up my guy. And we're going to get my guy. And Justin Herbert. <laughs> Let's go. Justin Herbert has been selected. All right, now I have someone at each and every spot, and uh, we're going to try to stack him. We're going to stack him. We missed out on Keenan. We missed out on Mike Will. There's still one more guy left. So we're going to leave this on for a little bit, and then we're going to try to star some guys so we get ready for that turn coming back around in the sixth round. Let's smash it. Let's smash it, all right? Just looking for high upside here. High upside guys that uh, have big, big splash opportunities. Brown off the board. Deontay Johnson off the board. He's been going around five, round six now. That man used to go in round eight, round nine earlier in the summer. Things have turned around now. Things have totally changed. 
Uh, let's see, we're coming back around. I feel good now. We're waiting on James Conner went pretty high. James Conner in the fifth over Pierce and J.K. Dobbins. It's kind of that's not good. He went four. He has four running backs. All right, he could have chose better running backs. Even though I do, I I love, I do like, I do like, I do like James Conner. I ain't gonna lie. I just didn't expect him to go over the other guys or Ken Walker. Ken Walker, that would have been the option there. Ken Walker would have been falling, but he would probably the quarterback would have been he would have been gone. He would have been gone. Herbert would have been. All right, so let's get ready. Let's see what we have as options. Coming back around the bend. We see Cam Akers. We got Godwin. And look what I said. Damian Pierce is here. We have Lockett. Put him in the queue. JSN, who I do like. Put him in the queue. Gabe Sanders, Cam. If Cam is going, Cam, yeah, Cam's going. He would have been an option. I can go super heavy at tight end and go Darren Waller. I'd be pretty happy about Pickens. We'll stick with this. I'm I'm leaning towards the Pierce. Where where the hell is Dobbins at? All right, we're at our selection here. Dang, JSN went. That's crazy. All right. We go Damian Pierce, who I love this year. I like him as a value. I do not see Dobbins is all the way down here. That's insane. All right, so we'll put him in the queue. Waller in the queue. I think I'm going to need to support my wide receivers pretty soon. John Dotson. I think I'm already. This is pissing me off right now. We're gonna have to. All right, we're coming back around. All right, at the front corners, two running backs go. And Miles Sanders and Alvin Kamara. And we're coming up to our picks right now. I'm leaning towards, we do got Michael Pittman. Dobbins is here. Dotson is here. Quentin Johnson. I do not want to miss out on that stack. That is very true. But I might have to miss out on Dobbins. But Dobbins might be the guy that falls. Randy Cooks is here too. It's just for solid upside there. Uh, I do have Tua. I do have Tyreek for Tua. So we're gonna queue some of these guys up. Uh, I want the stack. So we're making we're we're making sure we solidify the stack. So we went Quinn Johnson there for the stack with Justin Herbert, and we'll see who's going to fall to us in the next round. Definitely wanted to make sure that because I see Shane likes uh, young wide receivers. He just went Addison and JSN. Um, and I wanted to be, I wanted to make sure that Dobbins is off the board. All right, he's not going to fall to us. So let's see how far Pittman falls. We'll see how far Rashad White falls. All these guys are in scenarios here where they can become values. Um, Tua is still an option for us, even though we we have her, but we get, we don't have to force that. It, it, it would have been forced if I would have had um, if I would have went Jalen Waddle, but right now it doesn't need to be forced. Now Pittman is getting if he doesn't if he comes back around that this is insane. I'm just going to have to take them. Pittman, Dotson, and Cook are just falling way too far right now. Cook's off the board. First one off the board there. Is he going to? What is he going to do? 
And I'll take a shot here. I have no problem taking a shot at value. If we're, 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 if we're thinking about Michael Pittman going in the eighth round. Tua Tagovailoa off the board. Corlin Sutton off the board. Pittman and Dotson are free falling. Free falling. Prescott off the board. We are four selections, three selections away. Dotson off the board. All right. I would have definitely stacked him if I would have got Dotson. Can, can we get some value here? Can we get the value? If not, I'll just go somewhere else. Uh, that'd be totally fine. So he is going to fall to us. And now we got to make a decision. So we are going to take Michael Pittman. He has fought, he has fell just way too far. We're going to be 100% honest about that. We're going to take, we're, we're taking Michael Pittman. Let's go back to the draft board. And I have a number one wide receiver. Like, I, I'm not going to say no to that. A lot of people, I get it. Anthony Richardson is the quarterback. But do you understand the offense that uh, Shane, uh, excuse me, Shane Steichen. It's Shane Steichen, right? Am I tripping right now? Let me, let's, 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 double, let's double check. Let's double check this. Yeah, Shane Steichen. Thank you. So, the orchestrator of this offense is Shane Steichen from the Philadelphia Eagles, okay? He's going to run RPO offense. This is a perfect fit for Anthony Richardson in his first season to make easy reads, all right? And run in RPOs, he's going to have either option to keep the ball, give the ball, well, that's a triple option, so give the ball to whoever running back is going to be. Hopefully, it's going to be Jonathan Taylor. And then if that doesn't work, he's going to read the corner and the linebacker. And if that is open for his number one wide receiver, he's going to throw to him. It's a funnel of targets when you have an RPO uh, offense, okay? Because it's going to be, you have two options. You have a limited amount of time to make a quick decision. Are you going to hand it off or are you going to make a quick throw on a, on a, on a slant or a quick out or a quick in? to your number one option. That's why it was a funnel to uh, A.J. Brown last year. It was a funnel to Devonta Smith last year. That was the same exact offense, okay? That's what they're going to be running. So it's going to be a funnel of targets to Michael Pittman, all right? That's what I'm trying to say here. All right, we're coming up on our next selection. Elijah Moore is off the board. Too bad, so sad. We did want him. Um... That's what we're aiming at as our second. And we got to make sure we don't forget about him. All right, so we're coming up on our next selection here. We have one quarterback, two running backs, four wide receivers, one tight end. We're hoping for Antonio Gibson. AJ, this is a nice cluster of running backs here we do want to take advantage of. Even Rashad Bateman is here. So I'm going to grab one of these running backs, and then we'll see if Daniel Jones falls. We'll see if Pat Fryermuth falls, uh, Rashad Bateman falls. We're going to be looking for those guys, all right? So we're going to get uh, Antonio Gip Gip as our number three running back, just in case. We have someone that has upside. Is He's a PPR monster. And he could be a, a little connection stack uh, for our later, uh, later pick, okay? Right now, we are in a very calm situation here. I think I got great value on Michael Pittman to go with Quentin Johnston in the seventh as well. Pat Frymuth is off the board. That's his first tight end. I'm very solidified at my tight end spot. We can wait really late for our second and third tight end, all right? Now, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If someone falls, then we'll, we'll, we'll grab him up. All right? I get real explosive. Dawson Kincaid, throw him in there and be like, oh, man, I'm feeling myself. Feeling it. Pat Fryer move Jared Goff off the board. This this draft has been going pretty quick. Odell Beckham Jr. off the board. Now we're at that uh, back 9, 12, and 10, 1 area. Somebody doesn't have a quarterback yet, but that's, I guess that's the strategy. We'll, we'll see what he can cook up because we're still coming up to a nice cluster of options here. Nico Collins gets taken. That's a good selection there. I mean, he's desperate. 
at that wide receiver position. He has horrible wide receivers. Amari Cooper, Sutton, Nico Collins. That's your one, two, three. That is trash. You just donated ten dollars, sir. You gotta have. You gotta. You can't do that. What is, what is he doing? He went with Amari Cooper as his number one wide receiver. Like he's gonna have a second coming of his all time great season again. Can't do that. At least you gotta have some anchors. Hill, Ridley, something. At least Michael Pittman is the number one. AJ Dillon off the board. We're coming back around. Uh, Kirk Cousins is falling. I don't know if I'll go that route. Daniel Jones is here. He has high upside. And we can do that and stack that really late. I think I might go that route. Either Bateman or Daniel Jones. It's not a peer, is it? But that, that, I'm not too crazy about that right now. We'll see. I'm, I'm debating between Daniel Jones and Rashad Bateman. Really mulling that over right now. Maybe Bateman might fall to us. But I think Daniel Jones is just getting disrespected. Because he has he has upside. But then we'll be missing out. We'll be missing out. Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go Bateman. And then I'm hoping for uh this stack to come back around. We'll see how far Daniel Jones falls. Because there's other options at the QB spot. All right. B Bateman has a lot of upside. If he comes back fine in the next week or two, back to Baltimore camp. Uh, I understand what the procedure that he had on his foot. Uh, just filling up that hole that was in his foot. That's just a regular um, procedure. That naturally happens when you have what he just went through in the offseason. Uh, but I like his upside as a possible wide receiver one in this offense. Um, so that's what we're looking at. And then you factor in, it was Geno, Daniel Jones, Richardson, and even uh, and even Russell Wilson all in the same cluster. So the opportunity is high if Daniel Jones can fall back to us as a value. So this is the things you got to factor in. You go with the flow of the draft. And you take risks. You take risks. So that's what we're that's what we're gonna do. All right. Some of the guys ahead of me already have two quarterbacks. So that was another factor into that. Rashad Penny, Daniel Jones is still there. Russell Wilson is still there. So we have we're we're leaning on those two right now. Because that's though that's the best at the top of this draft right now that I'm gonna be aiming for. All right. see let's see coming back around Spokowski has two quarterbacks he just he went Russell Wilson that's what see that's what okay we'll see can Daniel Jones fall further Spokowski has three quarterbacks now he's done all right he's done does Joey go quarterback does Jax go quarterback and does Crowder go quarterback so we got three guys that can possibly take our guy if, if, if they do then we'll just be moving on to another uh to another route okay harris damian harris off the board we are two selections away at a possible value 20 pick value if it happens 20 picks of value the tank bigsby off the board that's a great selection we're we're looking at we're one pick away one pick away at 20 picks of value 20 selection can we get the steal can we get the steal can we get the steal yes we can can you say it daniel jones konami code quarterback konami code quarterback and daniel jones that's what i'm talking about Right, we are able to secure that. Let's queue up some more guys coming in. Jalen Warren has some good upside coming up. Gerald Everett, Greg Dolchich, all these guys. We're gonna be debating on who we're gonna choose next to solidify this 
this roster we got going on here. All right, I got Daniel Jones, so now I got to pair him with someone later. Paris Campbell, Jalen Hyatt, uh, Isaiah Hodgins, all these guys. I've right, got an opportunity to take over. We do have five wide receivers. We're going to probably finish with eight. Eight to nine, probably eight. Nine if I only go two tight ends. Greg Dolch is off the board, so that is off the board. KJ Osborne, I do like this year. We'll tag him up. Tyler Higby, I'm not really forcing that, but I'm leaning more to... Let's see who else is around him. Uh, oh, that DPJ's here. Ooh. Ooh, we got some wide receivers. Ooh. Wide receiver room about to get nasty. About to get nasty. So this is what we're aiming for. On the comeback around... We're looking at either, probably looking at Jalen Warren. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Jalen Warren. Elijah Mitchell off the board, which I figured. Look, Sam Laporte off the board. Uh, Rashi Rice is someone I do like. And that's, that's the one that's like tearing me apart right now. It's like, ah. But despite the fact, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. you like Jalen Warren's going, so there that go. Jalen Warren off the board, which I figured somehow would would do. So we can wait on, we can wait on uh, running back then. So we're gonna be looking at, oh, we'll go with the stack. I have Justin Herbert, so we'll go with the stack here. We'll go with Gerald Everett. I don't want to miss out on that. And if he's gone, well, he's up here. Okay. We're going to go with the stack here, guys. We'll have a double stack. Hopefully, it should fall to us. He already has one tight end. I don't think he goes two. He doesn't. All right. So, we're going to go double TE right there. Mark Andrews. And we have high upside. Love Gerald Everett this year. All right. I think I am sniping. Like, I'm just like... I'm, I'm in a zone. This is rare. It's rare. I'm in the zone. I'm feeling myself right now of how this draft is going. I'm trying to put a um, Basquiat, Picasso, Beethoven. I don't know how I just went from painters to freaking musicians. Right now, our roster, Justin Herbert, all right, Brees Hall, uh, Damian Pierce, Tyreek Hill, Calvin Ridley, Quentin Johnson, Mark Andrews, Michael Pittman, Antonio Gibson, Rashad Bateman, Daniel Jones, Gerald Everett. My spider senses are tingling. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say right now. Right, right now we're coming out. We're gonna we're gonna snag one of these uh wide receivers here. We're looking at KJ Osborne, we're looking at DPJ, we're looking at Shark. All these guys are having phenomenal camps, all right, and have good upside here. So it's between to me, it's between DPJ and DJ Shark. Shark has the opportunity to become the number one in this offense. He's looked fantastic connecting with Bryce Young. Uh, the better quarterback. Eh, then you got the, the DPJ. He could be the number three. So I think I'm going to take a shot on Shark here. I'm going to take a shot on DJ Shark and see who falls to us after that. And let's queue up some other guys. Then we're going to go probably running back. Mm -hmm. I got to think about him. 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 Okay. He, we're gonna, uh, we got to get ready for that. What pick is that? Uh, do I reach for him in the? I really don't know. Yeah, we might have to reach for him. Oh, yeah, I think I can get away with one more round. 
But we getting a, a a flow of quarterbacks coming off the board right now. Guys with explosiveness, opportunity, everything. You got to factor all that in. All these guys that have been waiting on QB, now they're coming in now. Kenny Pickett, Derek Carr, Stafford, Van Jefferson, all off the board four in a row. Van Jefferson has been having a fantastic camp. Puka Nakua has been having a fantastic camp. And Tutu Atwell, okay? Um, Isaiah Hodgins off the board. That is fine. Wait. But I gotta depend. I gotta decide who I'm gonna take. So coming back around now, we're looking at Roshan. We're looking at DPJ and Kenny Gainwell, Curtis Samuel. DPJ, Roshan. We could have we can get some explosiveness here. Roshan falls. It's a lot of upside there. I, I just talked about it in my last video, ambiguous backfields, all right? In ambiguous backfields, you want to take the last guy, okay? I'm going to take the last guy. High upside last guy. That's what usually it is. DPJ off the, off the board. Very good selection there. Gallup. DP, I don't know what kind of guy. Roshan Johnson off the board. That, there that goes. There goes, yeah, there, goes, there goes that dream. KJ Osborne still here. Uh, Jeff Wilson. Oh, yeah, we have four running backs. Tajay Spears. Tajay Spears has a ton of upside. I might go with Tajay Spears. Okay, yeah, it's between those two. All right, we're coming back around. One spot away from our next selection. Don't need to go with the running back now. Marvin Mims, good selection there. All right. Uh, we have Gainwell, Curtis Samuel, Jerome Ford, Tajay Spears. I am going to go with... We'll go with Jerome Ford. All right, we're going with Jerome Ford, Cleveland Browns backup running back there. Just in case if Nick Chubb is out, that is major, major upside here for Jerome Ford. Also, um, in that offense, they use they always utilize both the running backs. That's why Kareem Hunt was so important. He just sucked last year, and they got rid of him, and they felt very comfortable just going with Jerome Ford as the next guy. All right. So now we're coming around, and we're going to be thinking about our our last and final quarterback. We'll see. I don't want to miss out on him. Jaden Reed is still there. There's tons of options here. Paris Campbell. We got to think about him soon. All right, so we're coming back around, and we're going to have to be getting a little bit more aggressive here. I really wanted Roshan. Having Roshan, I would have been really confident. Jerome Ford is a very good uh, 1B for that option because I was debating about um, Gainwell. He has opportunity, but it's just two guys in the way that need to get hurt, but they usually get hurt, so that's why you could have went that one. Uh, Jeff Wilson is always an option, and there's someone else that I'm considering um, at that next running back spot. But I want to grab, I want to solidify my next, uh, see Tajay Spears. That would have been the running back too. All right, so we're going to go Sam Howell here. And I have all Konami code running uh, quarterbacks. Justin Herbert is a, is a unicorn. He'll, he'll just throw for 5,000. Plus, he has upside to rush the football as well. Right. You want I'm gonna do a video on that too. Konami code quarterbacks. That's all you want to draft. Do not want to draft a pocket passer. Right? You want to have someone that has upside that can rush the football and has done it before. Sam Howell, 800 yard season in college, his last year before coming over. And in his one start last year, last year against what was the Cowboys? Yeah, what? 60 yards rushing? Has that upside. He has that in his bag. Daniel Jones. Super, super athletic. Has that in his bag. Justin Herbert. 
can run as well, and he's going to throw for a ton of yards. A ton. All right, so right now we're at a 3 4 6 2. Not concerned at the tight end position here. We're at a 3 4 6 2. So right now we're looking at the best value at wide receiver, at running back. So I'm going to solidify a stack here uh, pretty soon because I'm pretty forced to right now, even though I have two options. Okay, Gainwell's here. He's falling. I want to get. I want both, really. I can get both. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to get both. I'm going to get both. That's what we're going for, guys. We're going to stack. Nope. Can't get both. One gone. So we're going to get one right now. We'll take Jalen Hyatt proudly. Oh, and then we got a gym. Oh, we got a gym there. We'll, we'll be taking him next. Coming around the mountain. Four running backs. We want to bolster this running back crew as best we can. We're going to throw some darts on some guys, but I definitely want one guy coming back around next. Uh, didn't even know that, but that's crazy. All right, Desmond Ritter off the board. I wanted the double stack. Ty Chandler off the board now, but we didn't get it. That's okay. That is a okay. Taquan Thornton has upside in that offense as a number one. Hunter Renfro. That's a great selection right there. Just talked about how he wants to bounce back. Super motivated. The most likely pattern that Devonta Adams is going to do is probably sit out maybe half-ass play and they get forced to be traded by the trade deadline. That's what's looking like that's going to happen. Okay. That's what looks like it might just happen. And then Hunter Renfro is there to soak up all those targets with him and Jacoby Myers. Kenny Gainwell is just falling way too... What is going on? What? I want... Can, get, can I get both? Can he get... Finally, somebody took Kenny Gainwell. That, he nice one-two punch there. I like his back in... Uh, running backs, uh, number three here. So we'll grab, we'll grab Zamir White. Who is this right here? Benny, Benny. I like what he, what he did there, finishing with the, with the running backs. He has Cup, Gabe Davis, Michael Thomas. This is kind of eh. eh. It's besides Cup. Uh, and he finished. I like what he did there. Tank Bisbee, Tyler Chandler, Kenny Gainwell. He got value there. Um, well, we can back in stack Howell. So right now we got Antonio Gibson. There's still one person left that we can back in stack uh, Sam Howell. And I'm not too concerned about that. Because he's going to be pretty late. So right now we're looking at wide receiver. Yeah, wide receiver and running backs, really. Cuba Hubbard is still here. We can take a shot on him. Hardman, Palmer. Let's see. Dorch. Where's he at? Oh, he's still here. Okay, cool. Collins, Rainbow, Denzel Mims. I don't know about any of these guys down this far. All right, we're coming back. We're at the end. Keisha Wong like a super, super deep sleep. And that's, that's about it. So right now we are at a lineup of three, five, seven, two. Um, I'm going to take the Super Hubbard off the board. Musgrave off the board. Where am I aiming towards? Hmm. I understand that selection. Deion Jackson, who was uh, explosive last year. That's a good uh, upside selection there. 
Right now, according to ADP, I'm leaning towards Malik Davis is going. No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Um, according to ADP, you should get Terrace. Terrace, Dell, and then a tight end. I definitely want one more running back. So right now, we'll take. We'll go with the Sam Howell stack there, Logan Thomas. That's finished. So right now, we have a correlation stack where Houston, well, uh, Washington, Sam Howell, Logan Thomas as a pass catcher, and Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson is a pass catcher out of that, that cluster there with Washington. He's going to be receiving the majority of balls there with Eric Bieniemy as that coordinator. So I think that's a very sneaky stack, low on stack. Without McLaurin, without Dotson, you still get a, a Washington stack with the running back and tight end. Very, very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. Kareem Hunt off the board. We have two selections left in this uh, opportunity to win a million dollars. So I came full force in this. You just read between those lines. Allen Robinson, sneaky selection off the board. Like it there. Clyde Edwards Alaire. You need an injury, but still see the upside there. Baker Mayfield. Hunter Henry off the board. We're gonna go with a wide receiver here. And then we're gonna finish off with a running back at the end. Alright. So sad about Tim Patrick, guys. So sad. Second year in a row. Even Josh Downs has outside, but I didn't stack what you call it, so we're not going to go there. Um, so sad about Tim Patrick. Yet again, another season where he's out for the year. Back to back years. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, we're going to go with my guy. If he falls, yeah, he should fall. All right, we'll take our boy, take Dell. He's gone. And coming out around the corner. So let me know how you guys feel about this draft. I left the board up. I had to switch to the phone because it was being mad. It was like, it was lagging. It was very annoying, very annoying. Ooh, which team do you like right now? Just looking at the top. Let's see if I can fit top six picks. What team do you like? I'm going to leave it here. Let me know in that comment section down below. Put the username in the comment section of who you like uh, first six rounds drafting. All right? We got Jefferson, Allen, Metcalf, McLaurin, Kittle, Sanders, Chase Smith, Olave Field, DJ Moore, Waller. Jackson with CMC, Patrick Mahomes, Taylor, Watson, Kirk Evans. Benny went Cup, Hurts, Stevenson, Hawkinson, Aaron Jones, Goddard, Crowder, Wentz, Bijan, Waddle, Higgins, Burrow with the stack, London, Pitts. He better had got Desmond Ritter. I think he did get Desmond Ritter. Let's make sure of that. You can't go both of those guys and don't get Desmond Ritter. Yeah, he got Desmond Ritter. Uh, I went Tyreek Hill, Calvin Ridley, Mark Andrews, Brees Hall, Herbert, Damian Pierce, Eckler, Pollard, Jackson, Williams, Brown, Najigba, Brown, Wilson, Jacobs, Harris, Johnson, Tyler Lockett. That might be the worst. No, that's not the worst. I just don't like the running backs. Uh, Kelsey, Adams, Allen, Etienne, Ayuk, Akers. Diggs, Lamb, Gibbs, Samuel, Madison, Godwin. That might be the worst. Uh, Chubb, Henry, Cooper, Mixon, Connor, Watson, Brown, Barkley, Judy, Hopkins, Ken Walker, T. Law. T. Law. We're going to knock out one more running back here. Uh, we're waiting a few picks away for our boy. I got a couple options here. I'm not really one. Oh, Peter Strong is still here. What? Why is Peter Strong still here? That's who I'm definitely taking. 
I didn't even know he was still here. I immediately jumped to someone below, but we're just gonna take we're two selections away. And that back in Woods, Fant, Marshall. Mims, Den Denzel Mims? You could have picked so many other. He has so many other choices, man. And that just no Denzel Mims is a scrub. We'll take our last pick, Pierre Strong. And that will finish our draft. Let me know in that comment section down below how you feel, how this went. Let me read it off one more time for you. Did I do? Give me a grade. Comment down below the grade that you give this draft. Herbert Paul Pierce. Pierce fell. Hill, Ridley, Quinn Johnson, Mark Andrews, Michael Pittman, Antonio Gibson, Rashad Bateman, Daniel Jones, Gerald Everett with the stack, DJ Shark, Jerome Ford, Sam Howell, Jalen Hyland, Zamir White, Logan Thomas, Tank Dale, and Pierre Strongate. And that will complete our draft. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you look out for the upcoming do draft video. That's going to be coming up next, all right? We just did a do not draft that's it very well we're gonna do another one for the do draft from one to six i mean one to five to six to ten peace